to the homie Cholo one, man. Fuck it with him, man. Let everybody, high power gang shit, man. Right here with the boy Clumsy Beats. Some of his friends right here. Under they, 805 Records, my boy. 805, I'm gonna say Rio Chica, say the five, baby. What's up, baby? Lifestyle. Oh! Miss Panchinko, I wish this spot on minute one. Primeramente, saludos y respetos going out to everyone. Check it out. I made about 20 shirts. Um, I have two eggs, three eggs. I have Cholos with the future. And I have a. Uh, the legendary jar of shirts. But, anyways, check this out, man. So I went to the Danny Trejo's truck. The Danny Trejo's truck. And you know what? I should make a separate video just on that. But I went to LA, right? Hollywood. The way it was a little, you know, it was a little too long. But anyways, when I got there, I seen Clumsy Beats, the producer from Hollywood. So... I don't know if you guys are familiar with Clumsy Beats, but he's a, a Mexican from Oaxaca, very proud. He's also a Muslim, Mexican Muslim, and uh, he's producing pretty much majority of what uh, High Power Record Label guys going right now. Um, his beats are pretty, you know, pricey, good quality, best of quality. And he's one of my top three uh, best um, producers in the game right now. As far as for the Mexicans, you know. I don't even know who the, who the other ones are for other people, you know. But anyway, Slick, man. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. When I first got out from the Pinta, I wanted to do music, dog. And I, I, I swiftly found out that it's no homie love. Uh, ain't nobody care what you got going. If you ain't got the money, ain't nobody going to help you out. None of that. You know what I mean? There's a couple of people that will look out, but not that many. So anyways, you know, uh, I've read a lot of books, you know. Uh, Cultura, all that, you know, revolution, the Aztecs. And I, I always like to educate my people, though, you know, on certain things that have to do with Cultura, to being pride, you know, prideful of being Mexican. Uh, brown is a beautiful color. All the good stuff, you know. I like to empower my people. I, li I like to uplift my gente, you know. And, and that's just all gangs aside, all, all that aside, baby. It's just, that's how we do it, baby, you know. But um, anyway, somehow, somewhere, I don't know how uh, Clumsy found out about me or whatnot, but... Um, he started following my page. I follow his. Maybe uh, maybe I started following his because he's a producer. You know? Um, but anyways, um, he started reading my stories, you know, and I was when I was educating the people and he liked what he what he read. Um, I was very articulate to, you know, as far as to emphasize the Viva La Raza movement and all that. Um, and uh, one one time he hit me up Went out of his way Very humble individual Hit me up And he was like Hey you know what um, I know how it is man But look I, I got two beats for you That I want to produce I'll do one for you One for me And true I'm going to be honest with you guys I'm just, I'm just going to be honest with you guys Truth be told I cannot afford one of those beats. They're very good quality. They're banging ass beats. Top of the line. I just don't have that type of money. Not even right now. You know what I mean? So when he said that, he was also going to produce the songs. I was like shocked. You know, like why would somebody do that? You know, like. But then he later on explained to me, you know, that he liked that he don't see that many Mexicans try to empower each other, try to uplift each other. And due to that, you know, he was going to bless me. And he did. He did. He blessed me, bro. Uh, so he gave me two two, two pretty good records, dog. Two good songs, Holmes. And, um, man, to this day, I, I still listen to those songs because such a good quality, you know. And I rarely listen to my own stuff. But look, man. 
gagging off. So with that being said, I'm in Hollywood. And as soon as I'm going into the parking lot, I see some fool that looks like Clumsy Beats walking around. I mean, with a mask on. And I was like, who is that? And I just, I don't even know why at all, because I knew that he looked like Clumsy Beats, but I didn't know that was Clumsy Beats, you know? So I just yelled out the window, Clumsy Beats! And that fool looked at me, he said, like, what's up, my boy? So I got off, you know, and um, shook his hand, took a picture, you know what I mean? And uh, that was crazy, bro, that, um, that's, that's crazy how the law of attraction, the energy, bro. You know what I mean? I've been wanting to meet him. You know, uh, I'm hoping to work with him in the future near. You know, maybe one day I do have the money or maybe he hooks me up again. You never know. You know what I mean? But that's someone I do look forward to, to working with because he's a humble individual that was there to help me out when I didn't have nothing. I was doing worse than, than I've ever been, you know, and, and he was there for me, so... He didn't even know me. He didn't have to do none of that. And that just goes to show you, you know, that um, as a people, we could always uplift each other, help each other, and it doesn't cost a thing, dog. And you never know what good energy might come back to you. You never know. So just keep on doing good. Keep on, keep on staying positive and just dismiss all the negativity, bro. Happy Valentine's. I got a few videos for you guys lately, the past few days, you know. I haven't been feeling good. I haven't been, um, I've been tired and all kinds of stuff from work. Uh, you know, I do hard labor. So with that being said, I'll be back to you guys. I'll be back to you. I'll get back to you and I'll be back to you. Yeah.